All right, guys, we're back now and we have our model set up. We are now bound. Our, make sure to turn your drone off. Okay, make sure the power's off on it. Now we're just gonna focus on the radio for a little bit, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to menu. So press it quickly once. There's your, uh, our, our model selection, hit page. All right, here's the screen we were just on when we were doing all the binding. You're gonna press page again. This is your heli setup. You're gonna ignore that. Press it again, flight modes, you're gonna ignore that. Here's what we're looking for, okay? So there's that T-A-E-R that we set up in our menu screen or in our, um, in our setup screen. What we wanna do is we wanna scroll down and we're gonna scroll till we get to number five, okay? Once you get to number five, you're gonna press enter. And now in your input, you're gonna spell out the word arm, okay? So click the button, scroll to A, hold it for capitalize if you want, and then go to scroll to R, and then scroll to the M, okay? On the input line, you can only do three characters anyway. So it's done, now scroll down to the name. When you get to name, click it again, spell arm again, now this time you can put a lot more letters, which won't matter here, but it will matter later on. So we're gonna spell arm again. Okay, there it is. And now hit exit and you're done. Okay, there's arm. Now, this is basically our arming switch. Now I'm gonna set this radio up as if it were mine. And here's how I do mine, okay? First of all, I wanna set my source and that's gonna be this one right here, which is SA. So to do that, I'm gonna click the button. S1 starts bleaking, I'm gonna flip SA, okay? Once it's, do once it's done, I'm gonna hit enter to stop it. Oops. I accidentally scrolled. I'm gonna stop it, there you go. And sometimes you will do that, guys. When you click this to enter, sometimes you'll pull to the left or right. Don't worry about it, just do the process again. Anyways, SA, here we're at. Now I'm gonna hit exit, okay? And I'm gonna hit exit again. So you can see now arm is populated down here. Now what we're gonna do is we go to number six, hit enter, and this one is gonna be mode. Now you can only use three letters here, but I'm gonna do MOD, so M, O, D, and then I'm scroll down to name and I'm gonna spell mode fully this time. M O D E. -E. Okay, hit exit. Okay, now for modes, which is gonna be, and you'll understand flight modes, and we'll get into that, but basically your modes are gonna be, um, you're gonna have an angle mode, which means that you can only fly a certain amount of degrees. So like an angle mode would basically stop this drone from going past, let's say, 30 degrees in angle. So you're not gonna be able to do flips or rolls. It's the safest way to learn how to fly uh, is to put it in angle mode, okay? Especially if you're not flying with goggles to start and you're doing line of sight, so angle mode. That way you don't go too far or too fast and you don't flip by accident, okay? Then we're gonna do horizon mode. Horizon mode basically lets you go as far forward and backwards and left and right as you want, but it still brings you back to the um, horizontal parallel to the ground. Angle mode does the same thing. It, angle mode restricts the angle, the steepness of your angle, and also brings you back to horizon mode, okay? <coughs> horizon mode, only brings you to horizon mode. It does not regulate your angles. And so we're gonna set angle mode, we're gonna set horizon mode, and then we're gonna set acro mode. Acro mode is you're on your own. This would be the most advanced style of flying. We advise you not to do this until your instructor says you're ready to, okay? But we're gonna set the modes up here to begin with. So let's do this. This mode switch is gonna be here. So I'm gonna click the button where it's at, whoops. I'm gonna go to max and click it under source here and I'm gonna flip SC. Okay, S A S B S C. So we're gonna flip S C and then we're gonna hit exit, exit, exit. Now, this is a three position switch and there's three modes we're gonna put on here. This will be acro, this will be uh, uh, um, horizon, and this will be angle. So the easiest will be the one always pulled towards you, the middle one will be the next easiest, and the top one will be the hardest of all, okay? So we've got our modes now. Now let's scroll down to number seven and click it. And here's gonna be our fail safe switch, so we're gonna Put the F and capitalize that. Now it can only fit three letters, so we're just gonna put F-A-I for this one on here. Okay, scroll down and we can spell the full word out here. Okay, and for this fail safe, we're gonna go to our source here and click it, and we're gonna flip this big switch right here. That's your SB, okay? Once it says SB, hit exit, hit exit, hit exit, and now your inputs are set throttle, you have all your inputs, plus you have the three switches that we just set. From here, we're gonna go to menu, okay? I'm sorry, apologize. From here, we're gonna act, actually, you know, we'll stop here, make sure everybody's uh, set with this one, then I'll continue the other video on where to go from here. So don't press menu or anything. Leave it on your input screen and make sure that all of you have uh, your, your one through seven is set, and five, six, and seven are arm um, uh, mode and fail safe. Okay, so arm mode and fail, all right? I'll be right back to go to the next.